focus with uh, folders and um, generally I'm doing folder research and development. And today we are at Kiambu County at Waruhio Agricultural Training College. It's one of the government college institutions in, in Kiambu where we have set up a demonstration farm for Super Nepia Pakchong 1. And today I'm happy to tell you more about it, um, specifically its origin, um, some of its key qualities, and why you should get it as a farmer. Super Nepia Pakchong 1 is a Nepia grass that originated from Thailand at a place called Pakchong 1. Um, the Nepia grass was developed by a gentleman called uh, Dr. Krylas Kyothong, who is a plant breeder and an animal nutritionist. He developed super Nepia by crossing elephant Nepia grass and pearl millet. Individually, the two crops do very well in our country. A crossing of the two has enhanced uh, its nutritional value, making it a superior Napier grass, hence the king of Napier grasses. Why do we call it king of Napier grasses? First, it has um, high levels of crude protein, um, specifically crude protein content measuring 16 to 18 percent. We have uh, done local tests, lab analysis, where we have seen um, the first one that we did in, in February this year showed a crude protein content of 17.2%. Then we did another one in May that showed a crude protein content of 18.4%. And recently, as, um, our third one, which showed Super Napier, contained 19% crude protein. And that was um, at an optimum height of 1 to 1.2 meters cutting. Secondly, Super Napier is hairless on both the stem and on the leaves, making it easier to handle for both the farm, uh, farm hands or the farmers, and also easier to feed, easy to feed for the cows. And thirdly, Super Napier Pakchong 1 contains water-soluble carbohydrates. These are sugars that um, help the Napier grass in the fermentation process. Hence, it is suitable for making into silage and um, without the need of having to add uh, enhancers like molasses or other inoculants. Hence, a farmer can be able to store it for longer or extended periods of time. The reason I said that is um, Napier grass is harvested at an optimum height of 1.2 meters. And remember that is the point I told you, this grass has the optimum crude protein. If you Supposing you've, harvest, you've planted half an acre or an acre of it, you harvest it a single day, you chop it and, uh, and sile it for onward use later on when, uh, when you don't have or when the crop is still growing in the farm. And um, another good thing with it is uh, the production. Its production is, is very good. Under optimum conditions, you get 200 tons in an acre of land for a period of one year. How do you get the 200 tons? First, um, the Napier grass grows at a very fast uh, rate in such a way that um, if you plant this cutting today, in the, uh, in the next 75 to 90 days, that is two and a half months to the third month, it will be ready for harvesting. It will have attained the optimum height of 1.2 meters. And secondly, um, it has, it produces many shoots or what we call tillers in such a way that if you plant these cuttings, by the time you're doing the first harvesting, you have an average of uh, 30 to 45 tillers for the first harvesting, which continually increase uh, with time as you uh, continue to cut the Napier grass. Recently, we, we tested it with one of our Napier grasses that we had done here at Waruhio ATC and we, um, for the second harvesting, that is uh, second tillage, we found a hole that measured, uh, a hole measuring two feet, uh, two square feet produced uh, an average of 116 tillers, meaning uh, the 200 tons 
can be easily um, can be easily produced from one acre of land. And um, in other words, it means that is you get enough food to feed 13 to 15 dairy cows from uh, from one acre, which is a key save to the farmers. And thirdly, super napier is a tropical uh, is a tropical crop and does very well uh, under many soil conditions. Um, the only uh, key thing I will insist on is optimum conditions of uh, making sure your soils are rich in organic matter and in this case we are talking of manure. Manure from the cows or manure from the goats and giving it a bit of moisture when it is dry you will get the 200 tons. Uh, it performs well in, in both black cotton soils, the loam soils, the clay soils and it's a crop that is going to revolutionize dairy farming in our country. But to get in touch with us, you can reach us through the numbers down here. That is 0770-026-000 and 0715-342-986.